Hello, I'm Lawrence Masserin. Recently, a video about GOA Wu's 1.96 into 363 was posted. The WSSA says that this is a world record. However, we have reviewed this before and we have deduced that it is not a 1.96. First, let's compare it to the previous world record of 2.08 seconds. Alright, now both stackers will start at the exact same time. But the problem is, the 208 finishes and stops the timer before Ji Wei's 196. Alright, let's look at another example. Let's compare Ji Wei's 196 to Kieran Mollage's 196. While Kieran's 196 is in the 333, they should both start and stop the timer at the exact same time. However, you could see that Kieran stops the timer before Ji Wei, despite the fact that these two times are allegedly both 196. So what happened? That leaves only two possibilities. The first possibility is that the camera for Ji Wei's 196 ran a little too slow compared to real time. The other possibility is that the timer used in Ji Wei's 196 malfunctioned. Now I also have footage of Ji Wei's 196. When I compare the footage from my camera to the footage from the WSSA camera, they match up perfectly, so there can't be a problem with the WSSA camera. So that leaves only one other possibility, the timer in Jiwei's 196 malfunctioned. If you look back at the comparisons, you see that the timer in Jiwei's 196 actually started later than the timers in both Kieran's and Kennard's videos. So what time did Jiwei actually get? I've decided through comparisons that he probably got around a 2.15 rather than a 1.96. So what happens now? After all, it's definitely not actually a 1.96. The first choice would be to guesstimate the time that he achieved. Like I said, I'm guessing the time is around 2.15 seconds. The other option would be to discount this time entirely. While this is unfortunate for Ji Wei because he can't get a time because of a timer malfunction, it avoids any guessing work that the WSSA would have to do. I also suggest that the WSSA does not rely on just Dartfish in order to review their records. There are many programs that allow a time code to be placed on a video so that you can make sure that the time is indeed accurate. You could also do comparisons on a video editor just like I did in this video. I'm sure the WSSA has a lot of tournament times that they could use for comparisons during review. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I hope you take my suggestions into consideration.